Good morning and welcome to Sacred Heart University's virtual fall open house for the Jack Welsh College of Business and Technology and School of Computer Science and Engineering. My name is Rob Gilmore and I'm the Director of Campus Experience in the Office of Undergraduate Admissions. And on behalf of the university, it is my pleasure to welcome you today. As we find ourselves in this age of virtual connectivity, we're so excited that we have this opportunity to come to you today to provide all the necessary options for you to learn about the opportunities both in and outside the classroom here at Sacred Heart. We want you to explore today. We want you to see everything that we have to offer and use this opportunity to engage with our faculty, staff, and students. We're coming to you live today from our West Campus here at Sacred Heart University. Located just a short drive from our main campus in Fairfield, our West Campus property was purchased in 2016 from General Electric. For over 30 years, this functioned as the global headquarters for GE. At 66 acres and 550,000 square feet of building space, it's known as our innovation campus. Why? Because we're allowing technology to infiltrate the classroom to help further our students' educational experiences and help them prepare for their careers. This campus includes such components as the finance lab, which is a state-of-the-art opportunity for our students to engage with Bloomberg terminals. We also have the Idea Lab, which is an 8,000 square foot creation space for students to develop ideas based off of projects they'll be working with, both in and outside of the classroom. We also have the Verizon iHub. Last year, Verizon and Sacred Heart entered into a multi-year agreement to provide a co-working space here at the West Campus so that our campus would be open up to companies to have a presence here in Fairfield County, Connecticut. With all that being said, this is an amazing opportunity for our students to engage in their experience at Sacred Heart. The West Campus is revitalizing the educational experiences here, and it's something that you need to see. So we encourage you to take a virtual tour of West Campus during the open house today. To welcome you on behalf of our admissions office at Sacred Heart, and to review the admissions process with you, please welcome our Executive Director of Undergraduate Admissions, and a two-time alumnus of the Welsh College of Business and Technology, please welcome Pamela Pillow. Hello, I'm Pam Pillow, and I'm honored to welcome you to today's open house. I'm proud to call Sacred Heart University my second home. I'm a two-time alum, actually from the Jack Welch College of Business and Technology, a former varsity tennis player, and I've worked here for over 11 years. I've experienced that first-rate education been mentored by tremendous faculty, and I continue to experience and benefit from access to state-of-the-art facilities and seminars. Our programs in the Welch College of Business and Technology are recognized for the hands-on preparation that we provide candidates. In my own experience as an undergraduate, I had access to the latest technology for learning and decision-making and assistance with internship placement. I hope that after today's sessions, you might consider Sacred Heart your future second home too. Our admissions team would be honored to re review and receive your application. Should you consider applying, we do have a few options for your application process. The first is early decision, and the deadline is December 1st. Early decision is a binding option, meaning that Sacred Heart is your first choice, and upon acceptance, you will attend Sacred Heart in the fall of 2021. You may determine SHU to be your first choice from our academic programming, student engagement, or a sense of community if this is the case, I do encourage you to apply early decision. You will learn of your admission by December 15th, before the holidays. Early action one is a non-binding option. That is our next application option, and the deadline is December 15th. This is one of our most popular application options. It is also the deadline if you are considering our Davis and Henley College of Nursing. You will learn of your admission by January 31st, 2021. Then we have early action two. A non-binding option as well, the deadline is February 1st, and it's a great option for candidates who want to wait for the fall grades to come in or maybe take more time to complete your application. The notification date is February 15th, 2021. Applications received after the 1st of February, 2021 will be considered on a rolling basis. We are a common application school, and some application requirements include your official high school transcripts, a letter of recommendation, one is required from your school counselor and an additional letter is recommended from a non-relative. An interview with an admissions counselor is highly recommended. It is only required for those of you applying early decision. Interviews are offered in person and on campus after a tour and virtually. To note, 
The submission of the ACT or SAT is completely optional for all of our programs here at the institution. And just as a benchmark, the average GPA for our incoming students is about a 3.5. Financial aid options are available to students, and all students are considered for merit-based scholarships based on your GPA. Other grants and scholarships are available based on interest. To qualify for additional financial aid, please complete the FAFSA and CSS profile. Both forms are available now and should be submitted in line with your application deadline. Thank you again for joining today's open house. Our admissions and financial aid chat room will be open for the duration of the event to ensure all of your questions get answered. I wish you a wonderful day and we look forward to connecting soon. Thank you, Pam. Now to welcome you on behalf of the entire Welsh College of Business Technology and School of Computer Science and Engineering, it's my pleasure to introduce the Dean of the College of Business Technology. Please welcome Dr. Martha Crawford. Good morning and welcome to the Welch College of Business and Technology. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the WCBT, I'm very, very excited to have this opportunity to welcome you here to West Campus. Sorry, it's virtual. I'm looking forward to being able to welcome you in person. This is the former global headquarters of GE. When they left to go up to Boston, we purchased the buildings and we revamped it into a state-of-the-art learning campus for students whether you're coming in to study computer science or engineering or any of the business disciplines, this will be a fantastic learning environment for you to focus on how technological convergence is transforming business and how you can become a business leader or a technology leader for that world. What does that mean? It sounds like a lot of gobbledygook. In fact, it's a super exciting opportunity for you to understand how digital technologies are transforming the world as we know it and what that's creating in terms of new opportunities, new businesses, but also new risks, things that you as a leader need to be able to deal with. What's cutting edge about our college is that we have combined the faculties of computer science and engineering and the faculty of business. So we have this integrated approach and you will be benefiting from that throughout the, cur the curriculum. So you will get introduced to coding, you'll get introduced to data analytics, you will become technologically literate. It doesn't mean that you have to be a math guru or a computer coding guru in order to graduate, but it does mean that when you graduate from here, you are going to be techn technologically literate and you're going to be able to stay on top of the waves as you go in your career. The idea that we have, and I think this is really unique, uh, this is why I left Harvard Business School to come here to lead this college, is that we are going to equip you through our liberal arts approach to have the peripheral vision, the context, the ethical reasoning, the critical thinking skills that you need in order to have a four decade career and to be able to adapt. But at the same time, we're going to give you the technological literacy and the technical skills to be able to translate and to, um, to communicate at the cusp of technology and business. And that is going to make you career ready. So when you come out of here, and I think you'll have the opportunity a little bit later to hear from our career services folks, you will be able to find a very good job and be plug and play ready. That's, that's what we're looking for. But we know that if we just plug you into a career when you, when you exit here, that's not enough because you're looking at very long careers. So we are looking at giving you that peripheral vision, the contextual understanding that will help you to adapt and to be relevant going forward. That's really what makes us unique. Another thing which is unique, uh, and I wish again that I could show you the labs, but what's unique is we focus very strongly on experiential learning. So you will have the opportunity to do hands-on learning, whether you're focusing on finance or marketing or accounting, you will be actually doing projects that involve teamwork, that involve applying artificial intelligence or machine learning to actual business problems. Lots of studies have shown that learning is enhanced by 50 to 70% if you're doing experiential hand-on learning. So we focus on that. That's why we've invested in these facilities. Second piece of that is we require an internship before you graduate. You will have the opportunity to do an internship in your field, and that gives you stories to tell when you go to an interview. It helps your chances of getting hired. It helps you also to orient yourself so that you know sometimes the best outcome of an internship is realizing, ha, 
that's not what I want to do. I thought I wanted to do that. I hate it. That's actually a really good outcome. You can then reorient yourself and find your passion. So we hope that you will be impressed uh, by the WCBT, that you will investigate further, and I sincerely look forward to welcoming you to campus. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Crawford. One of the biggest pieces to the success of the Walsh College of Business Technology is the preparation of our students for their careers. To welcome you on behalf of the Center for Career and Professional Development, as well as to talk to you about the services provided to all of our students, please welcome the director of the Center for Career and Professional Development here at Sacred Heart, Annie Suffrandetti. Good morning. My name is Annie Suffrandetti, and I'm the director of Career and Professional Development for the Welch College of Business and Technology. I also want to welcome you to today's virtual open house. I'm excited that you are considering Sacred Heart as the next step in your education. Today you will learn more about some of our competitive academic programs and services, but you might also be wondering about how this translates to employment post-commencement. The Center for Career and Professional Development supports our students with everything from career and major exploration, job and internship search, and assistance in integrating and navigating an extensive professional network. If you're undecided, we want you to know that that's okay. We have a specific program called Discover You, which is designed to help you explore your interests, skills, personality, and abilities, and relates it to a potential major and eventual career. Through personal one-on-one -on -one advisement and a variety of industry-specific programming and events, we are able to work alongside our students and faculty to better prepare them for making the transition to campus to career. Within the College of Business and Technology, we are committed to the integration of experiential learning in our curriculum and ensuring students are equipped with the tools necessary to be successful post-graduation. Students within the college are required to perform at least one internship prior to graduation, which ultimately helps students evaluate not only what they want to do, but also equally important, what they don't want to do. In order to help secure these internships, all second year students within the college are required to take a career development and readiness course. This course introduces students to the fundamentals of career exploration, planning and organizing their job search, ensuring all students have approved documents for applications such as resumes, cover letters, and LinkedIn profiles, and then finally refining the skills needed to interview. We have seen participation in exceptional internship programs, such as with Amazon, Calvin Klein, Gartner, Estee Lauder, Lockheed Martin, Nike, PepsiCo, and Vineyard Vines. In addition, we are proud to share that over the past three years, Sacred Heart has averaged a 99% overall placement rate when it comes to postgraduate employment. We have seen students and alumni secure roles at competitive organizations such as the big four accounting firms, Morgan Stanley, TD Bank, NBC Sports Group, Aflac, MSG, as well as local and national organizations around the country. Whether your student is interested in pursuing graduate school, a year of service, or is completely unsure what their next step may be, please be assured that the Center for Career and Professional Development is not only, for here, only here for you when you're a student, but also for a lifetime. One of the many things that you can be assured with SHU is that you will be supported not only within your first position, but we will be there for you along the way as you navigate your professional endeavors. For more information regarding pioneer outcomes, including employers, salaries, geographic location, degree types, and fields of study, I would encourage you to visit our new website at sacredheart.edu slash career. In addition, we do have a series of sessions later on today focusing on finding a major, as well as other focused on resources and outcomes. We hope to see you there and thank you very much. Thank you, Annie. To welcome you on behalf of the entire university community, including our students, faculty, staff, and alumni, please welcome the president of Sacred Heart University, Dr. John Patillo. Welcome to all our prospective students and families who have joined us online today to experience all that Sacred Heart has to offer. Like our nickname, Sacred Heart is a pioneering institution 
that continues to charge forward in this ever-changing world. We have continued to grow our student community, constructed state-of-the-art facilities, and expanded our academic programs. Today, you will begin the next steps forward in your life. As you will see and hear about the many opportunities available to you here, our leading academic programs are taught by world-class faculty who are educated at the best universities, who are leaders in their fields and have numerous international and national honors and teaching awards. Connect with them today. Feel what it is like to be in the classroom that is driven by excellence and innovation. When I think of a word to describe SHU, it is spirit. Sacred Heart is rich in spirit with a deep sense of community. Talk to our students today. Ask them your questions. They embody our spirit. We are here for our students. It is our mission to do more than prepare you academically, but to encourage you to work hard and live a life that contributes to the human community. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for choosing us. And thank you for allowing us to talk about how transformative the Sacred Heart experience will be. And I look forward to welcoming you next fall as part of the class of 2025. Thank you. Now it's your turn to get out there and enjoy this open house. Take full advantage of everything we have to offer. At the conclusion of this session, we will now begin four unique sessions that will take place throughout the morning and early afternoon. Two for academics and two for student life opportunities. Feel free in each session to go back and forth between Zoom rooms. Explore everything that you want to know and make sure you get your questions answered. If you should have any unique or general questions throughout your day, please stop in to our admissions information center that you can get in there and talk to our staff in the admissions office to get those questions answered. We also have a student chat room today where you can go in and chat with current Sacred Heart students to get their perspective. Don't forget to take a virtual tour of West Campus or the main campus today. And don't forget to log on to our virtual bookstore where you could pick up shoe swag to wear with pride. Once again, on behalf of all of us at Sacred Heart University, thank you for joining us and have a wonderful day.